Lay Lee Lee back with another video and this is car talk with Lady Lee Lee car talk with Lady Lee Lee on a Monday happy new year everybody I know I know I ain't had no videos out here in these YouTube streets honey I was enjoying the holidays family friends slumming and bombing a little bit but um, I returned back to work on January the 2nd and now we are back to our reg regular schedule program so hopefully you had a safe and prosperous new year thus far um, they have declared this year is the year of open doors victory and opportunities so we pray that um, <laughs> You get yours in 2019. I plan to. I plan to go hard in the paint and make it happen. I sure do. So anyway, let's go ahead and get um, started. Got a few topics to talk about. Um, you all have heard that um, Tony Braxton and Bergman have called off the engagement. You know, Tony Braxton claims she had lost the ring, and um, Bergman has taken all of Tony's. Um, Braxton's um, pictures down off of social media and um, apparently now Tony Braxton has been um, is back in uh, financial trouble uh, and maybe facing another bankruptcy I'm like girl what the heck you doing uh, you didn't learn from these first two times what's really going on why are we just doing the most and being lavish and we really can't afford it so yeah a lot of people didn't believe it they thought it was a, a publicity stunt they thought it was an opportunity for Tony Braxton to um, get back in the limelight and uh, promote her album which was the sex and cigarettes so um, they some people didn't believe it they thought it was a, a ploy some people felt that Birdman wasn't you know Tony Braxton's cup of tea, but they're done, and according to um, Birdman, he made a post saying it's over, so hey, best wishes to them. Um, Cassie has uh, been posting um, posts and stuff with her new man, because it was rumored that Diddy might be trying to get her back, so yeah. But on to more other news. Um, you all heard about the uh, man who was a customer at the McDonald's and he tried to come at the woman wrong and the woman had, had a thing or two for him. But I believe she ended up getting fired and she ended up getting arrested. But what is your thoughts upon that? Because that man did grab her. Um, and it was a situation with a man putting his hands on her. And this is all due to the fact that they didn't have straws out because I guess that part of Florida, they decided to... Um, it was a rule, a new rule, a law that they can't have straws out. Now, if you want a straw, you can ask for a straw, but um, they just don't have them out on the counter. Um, it's just an effort to be more environmental friendly. I know people are starting to promote more of the reusable straws, more of the metal straws. Um, so, yeah, I'm even thinking about looking into... Um, I have some plastic reusables, but, you know, it got me thinking about the met, um, metal straws. I'm thinking about maybe, you know, looking into getting those. So, um, but apparently the young lady was also known to be an up and coming. She was looking for, looking to have a career in boxing. So I don't know if that was a factor in the moves that were made on appreh apprehending her or, yeah. So, um, that's, that's interesting. The Golden Glows was last night, and people are just shocked that Bohemian Rhapsody beat out Black Panther. Um, and I can't remember the award category. I didn't watch it. I'm going to be honest. I didn't watch it. Um, but they was pretty shocked because they were saying that um, Black Panther grossed way more than Bohemian Rhapsody. Uh, Regina King came up on the Best Supportive act Actress uh, for Bill Street Could Talk. I want to see that. I'm like, is it playing in Chicago? Because from what I was told, it's not. Could you please turn? Um, what I was told, it's not out everywhere in the United States. And 
I haven't like really haven't checked to see, but it sounds like a good love story. Something worth going to see. So um yeah, congratulations to Regina Key. She is steadily killing the game. Came a long way from being Brenda on 227 and she's just doing her thing and directing and acting and all types of good stuff. So you know, girl power to you, Regina Key. We we we're loving it. So um what else is going on? Um, you know the biggest talk right now is the surviving um, R. Kelly, the doc series. Oh, crap. Hold on. Hold on. Is it still going? Okay, so we back. This is part two. Sorry. The camera had failed. So, um, back to what I was saying. Um, you all know that this um, past week aired the premiere of The Surviving R. Kelly. It was a six-part doc documentary that talked about um, R. Kelly and his risque behavior, how he treated women and girls. Um, I watched it. Nothing new to me. I knew about the whole um, going up to Kenwood and being at that McDonald's that, that was down the street from Kenwood because um, I have cousins that went to Kenwood in the late in the 90s and I was also in high school in the 90s and um, it wasn't new. We knew about Aaliyah. We knew about them getting married. Uh, we knew about the line about Leah's age to get married. Uh, what we didn't know is that she, I think what was new to me was the fact that we knew, uh, we didn't know that she actually had got pregnant. And he was um, trying to um, pay people to be quiet. And I guess he did a payoff for them to her parents or her family not to say anything or press charges. And um, so we knew we knew about that. I think what we did not know was Aaliyah, that R. Kelly got Aaliyah pregnant. And what we did not know was the fact that people had actually saw them having sex. I think that was the only two things that stood out. Um, knew about the video. I actually saw the video. I could uh, I was in college when that video surfaced and everybody was watching it. Um, we were college kids. Um, I remember watching it. Uh, who was had watched it in the dorm room. I remember watching it. And, and even you could look at the young lady and tell that she was really young just because of how her body was made up. Uh, the video was disgusting. We eventually just shut it off. I can, t can tell you that. Um, and my heart went out to that young lady and I can safely say I never bought R. Kelly's music. I don't, yeah, I don't recall even buying R. Kelly's music or, you know, if I heard some, I bought my head and that was pretty much it, but I don't financially haven't really invested in R. Kelly. And then we all knew about, that was Sparkle's niece and, um, she just said she feels so bad because she was the one to introduce her niece to R. Kelly. And um, just talking to some people who knew of the niece, they said they remember when he bought her her car. Um, and that came up in a, in a thing. In the um, series of one, the girls were saying that the girl was telling her that she'll get a car when she's 16. And he actually bought the car. So um, he paid that family off. So it wasn't really shock. I and I, I do feel sorry for the young ladies, but I'm gonna tell you this. I do not feel sorry for the young ladies who got caught up with R. Kelly after the trial. Because that was the sign right there, you know. That was a sign right there. Um that hey, that you might need to put a red flag up. Um, even though he got off, but hey, money is power. That's what I tell people. Money is power. So um, you got money, you can you can fight things. That's just that's just what I got out of it. Money will definitely yeah. Um, so a lot of people now are upset. Now people are angry. Um, 
even somebody put out a video of R. Kelly saying, well, this should have been done years ago. Uh, R. Kelly's own brothers um, kind of admit to some of his doings and dirts. Um, so, yeah. I'm not shocked. I'm not surprised. Um, R. Kelly won't get a dime from me. So you don't have to worry about me. And um, I think people getting the gist because um, he had a concert uh, canceled in Chicago. Was it this past year in 2018? But it was a concert that he was scheduled to do and they pulled the plug on it. So um, it's just sickening. I mean, it's a lot of women out here that will do things free will, but yet you had to go mess with kids. And that was, you know, a sign of, you know, mental issues. It was a sign of lack of development. It was a sign of somebody who, too, has been uh, uh, abused. But my camera... The camera cut off, so, um... Yeah, I, I, I think this gonna be... This is gonna be the straw that breaks the camel's back now, because, um... The ex-wife got in, a lot of young girls, and we actually put faces to these stories now. And I think that makes it more realistic. And a lot of people are like, man, you know, I was riding with R. Kelly, but now I got daughters, or I got nieces, or I got cousins. And this ain't funny, and this ain't cool. And even like I said before, R. Kelly said, um... They should have been. They should have done this 30 years ago. Well, honey, it's been doing. It, it's 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 done now. It's a wrap now. So, um, with that being said, I think R. Kelly finna get his coming up. His coming up. He gonna get that just. Somebody finna get that just due, and not in a good way. So, um, my heart goes out to the victims, the families, the parents who's fighting to get their kids back uh yeah but something needs to be done because this is not cool like i said i've been skeptical the whole time i never was saying he didn't do it no people it's just certain things people ain't gonna lie about and i know that the young lady and her family probably saying that's not them because they got some money they probably signed some confidentiality agreements but um yeah, we're going to see what's going to be the outcome. And some people say it's nothing's going to happen. That he's probably just going to get some more money. But I hope justice be served. So um, that is it for now. I promise to come back with um, more videos. So like, comment, subscribe. I still got to do my New Year's video, y'all. I'm Yeah, I'm all over the place right now. But um, just been um, just taking some time for me and meditating and focusing on some things I definitely want accomplished this year that I did not accomplish in 2018. We'll talk more about that in another video, but like, comment, subscribe, have a blessed and prosperous week. Be open to all the open doors and the open opportunities that will come amongst you. Peace out.